Just a quick look inside of a Nighthawk carbon monoxide detector, CO detector. Um, this unit visibly still seems to work. It just doesn't seem to pick up anything. So I believe the sensor is worn out. And this is what's inside. Very loud, uh, and large sound alert type unit here. Driver chip. Display. Voltage regulator. That's why it gets hot. These uh, type detectors actually have a heating element inside of them as well. That's why they don't run on low power. Um, this type needs to be plugged in and uh, eventually the detectors go bad. I'd like to see if I could find a, uh, another element for this guy. Uh, it'd be great if I could just replace this element a sensor and get some more use out of this guy. It's about a $50 unit, at least it used to be. Made in the USA. God, that's a... <laughs> that's something you don't see anymore. So yeah, I've seen uh, these elements sold, you know, for uh, working with Arduino and uh, other type of MCUs. I don't know if it's going to be one that will be compatible or not. I guess I'll just try it. The ones I've seen are smaller and they hit, go into a standard socket. I was kind of hoping this one would be a similar deal where it went into a socket, you know, like the uh, ones I've seen the catalogs do. But no such luck. It's got a uh, four pin pinout soldered in, which I'll have to solder suck and uh, remove the unit. I won't show you all the gory details of that using these two tools. And here it is removed. The sensor is removed. It's really kind of a pain in the butt. Solder Sucker did an incomplete job as usual. When you got long pins, I should have probably just trimmed the the uh, pins way short. I would have been had more success with the Solder Sucker. Then I went over to the uh, tape, which I never have good luck with. Desoldering braid. Probably because I keep it around too long and it gets old. Uh, but it's never been my favorite method. Really, my favorite extractor, I was almost going to fire this baby up to do it, is real simple, real cheap tool you can get at Radio Shack, or you used to be able to get at Radio Shack. You can get it online for more money. Radio Shack actually had it cheaper than Amazon did. But uh, I didn't want to use it right now because I'm only doing a small job. But for bigger jobs, you know, I found nothing that works as well as, as this unit. You can jump off the ball real quick and you got to keep a uh, supply of tips around for it because they go through tips rather quickly. Let's see what it is for fresh tip laying around and wait. But that's been my best desoldering method. It's using that desoldering iron as opposed to even a high class. I got a low class one too, the, in those little aluminum ones everybody's got. Um, these work a little better, not much. No, desoldering is always a pain in the butt.